30 minutes VRS race at Spa. Well, not VRS, hey. but GT3. Oh, I haven't driven the uh, Ferrari, Tony, since the update, so I don't know. Danny boy, thanks for the follow. Let's see, let's try not to die lap one and get some, some seat time here with the car. But I, I would say my initial impression here is positive. I really expected it to sound like the AMG and it, it I think it sounds better. Uh, drives better, not sounds better. Oh god. Loose, loose. Okay, now in draft. What top speed will we get in draft? Tire pressures are not up there. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty much maxed out, except cube maps, because cube maps gives you one frame per second. The limit race done. Perfect, David. <laughs> There's a quick repair if you still want to practice a little bit. What's happened? Or Rouge or before? Maybe you should enable the racing line, Kappa. What setup? Uh, just the iRacing, a slightly modified version of the iRacing low downforce baseline. Stiffer ARB in the rear, one click, one click, more rake, uh, one click, less wing. And brake bias set to 50.5, ABS set to 10, traction control set to 7. I think that are all the changes that I did. <laughs> Sorry, David. <laughs> oh. Hey, Lucas, wait for me. Track. It's a bit weird on the corner exit, like the traction control is not strong enough or something. But I guess it's probably a differential setting. Every time I have that it's usually a two... Uh, it's a wrongly configured differential or so. Tire pressure still in the yellow. Yeah, I still cannot take this flat. Cars. I think, I think, Lucas, I think your tires are already uh, warm. <laughs> I wonder at which uh, speeds the fifth gear gets and in, goes into the limit. But the gearing is definitely a bit strange. <clears throat> nah, I think Lucas is just uh, doing it for fun. Little, little tire warm up. <laughs> this is eye racing, it is. Ah, Carlos, it doesn't make a big difference. I tried it. I think in 5th gear it gets up to 263 and in 6th gear it, it got up to 262 or so. So it's not like completely useless, it's just... Well... I don't know for what this gear stack is made. I think our racing looks great, yeah. In my opinion, iRacing is... I'm gonna put this on YouTube, I will 
So if you are watching this on YouTube, you can leave a comment now. iRacing looks like shit, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but I think iRacing is probably the best looking simulation out there. It just looks the most natural to me. No, no mod. It's just everything maxed out on the graphic tabs. Clipped. <clears throat> I mean, it's true, isn't it? GT Sport looks pretty good as well, I have to say. Especially, like, in the broadcast mode. <clears throat> oh, there's no res reshade uh, running here. There's not even a color correction running. This is... It's just, uh... Oh, it looks on my screen. I think the, the capture card actually adds a tiny bit of contrast. At least when I did the comparison yesterday with the new NDI. Actually, if you haven't heard of it, NDI HX uh, has now a better streaming thing to stream to a second PC. It basically compresses the display stream with NVENC. And it's really good, I have to say. I did a little comparison yesterday. NDI versus capture card. I still think that the capture card is smoother. A little bit. But I think this NDI HX, if you have a two PC setup, if you have an NVIDIA card, if you don't have a capture card, it's definitely much better than the older NDI and much better than the... Uh, or for example, if you own an ultra wide and you don't have a capture card that supports it, it's much better than the cloning stuff or OBS preview. Super NDI, yeah, check it out. ND NDI uh, display capture HX or so it's called. It looks really great. <clears throat> I will have to say fuel, great. You know, it's like I had one job here in this race, and that is to put in enough fuel, and I messed that up. But we just have to save a tiny amount. I mean, for example, ACC has nice graphic effects and everything, but I think sometimes it's a bit over the top. I don't like that it's so blurry, even though on 1440p it's much better than at 1080p. But iRacing is still, I know a lot of people will be like, he's crazy. Here, Carlos, sixth gear, by the way. Um, is for me the most natural looking sim out there. And I think where iRacing really is miles ahead of everything else is the movement of other cars. And why the hell did I start the iRacing versus something else discussion again? Jesus Christ. Can somebody time me out? Ah, oh, thanks, love. <laughs> yeah, for example, on ACC, when you look at the cars, it's like... You see the angle of the car and the direction it drives into and it somehow does not really match. Project Cast 4. Oh yeah, Project Cast 4. If you haven't heard, it will be the best simulation out there. And the most realistic one. I mean, would be cool. But for me, it's a big fat X doubt. I mean, honestly, I have to say, I like this car. The more I drive it, the more I like it. 
it's very very different to the Lambo but I think it will be more approachable for most players it's definitely less twitchy it's just yeah it drives it's nice to drive I mean I'm really not a big fan of the engine sound but oh well it could be worse has great top speed has a weird gear stack uh, okay can you play high hopes solo what please elaborate Yeah, but somehow it, it does, it to me, it doesn't feel like your typical front engine car. I don't know. Hey. I, I don't, I don't know the song High Hopes. Oh my God, the limiter. Gem Barrels, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Limiter is awful, yeah. But let's be honest. If you drive into the Limiter like me, then you should maybe work on your driving like me. Fnatic rim it's ugly ah uh, i mean look at look at modern race cars wheels they are usually just not really pretty look at the audi r3 wheel for example super ugly look at the new porsche rim super ugly but yeah nyc killer or thank you very much for the tier one appreciate it thank you enjoy the emotes buddy and welcome to the sub club. Cool. And gifting nice a sub as well. A tier one sub to <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanking to Judas Puerto. I cannot get rid of Anton behind me here. No, no, no. Hey, so uh, SDK Gaming added the symbol for the Lambo, but not for the BMW. But yeah, in the end, if the wheel will feel good. I'm I'm not a fan of the looks, but whatever. I mean, how often do you watch your rim when you're driving? I have this super fancy GSI wheel here with a nice display and I never look at it. I don't even look at the display while driving, to be honest. I barely see the, the shift LEDs in my peripheral vision. But I think wheels with a display, to me, it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Adam, yes! <laughs> yeah, Gomez, send me the GXL already. So I cannot look at the display. Hey Lens, I like how it drives. I, I like it. At least with this modified baseline setup here, it it drives very well. A little, a little bit weird on corner exit, but I guess that's just the differential setting or something that I have no clue how to set up. Also, I'm kind of irritated that the gearbox whine is so much louder than the engine.
Oh my god, nearly 266 in fifth gear. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I don't know what this tire blue thing is. If it's like the condition of the tire or... I have no clue. Is this car out in real life? Is it like... Or is it new as well? Has it done races? I like how it feels, David. I like this. First race early next year. Okay. So that's interesting. That we have the virtual car before the real car. Wasn't it like this in, in NASCAR as well? With the... I don't know. Tire compound, yeah. Are there GT3 series with different tire compounds? FOV? Uh, let me check the black box. Oh, yellow flag. If you're interested in these flag... flag display things, I will put it in the... I will put it in my Twitch profile description or make a command for it. I'll also put it in the YouTube comment if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, not YouTube comment. In the description below. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And sma- No, we don't smash any buttons here. Just, just click the thumbs up. And if you dislike the video, just still click the thumbs up that would be awesome thank you it's kind of cool to see to also see the transfer from virtual to real didn't they test like some some track layouts for rovers on iRacing or so? Ring that bell, yes. To never miss any thing. Mark! Thanks for the raid, buddy. How do you like the car? <clears throat> Hope you had a good stream. I, I actually did Cyberpunk today, but then... I kinda wanted to try this, so here we are. Oh god, limiter. I have to say I like it. Feels nice. Easy to drive. Do you think it feels a lot like a front-engine car? I don't think it feels... I mean, I don't like front-engine cars and I don't hate this, so... Or I took some nice shots. Guys, exclamation mark wallpaper. I think. You should definitely check that out. Oh really? I think it's 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 not like the AMG. Anton, please. Only on corner exit a little bit. Man, this this wheel has so much grip, my hands are al already a little sore. IR1? I R1 is great. Not sure about how good the racing is. I've done one race so far in the IR1. Uh, and I made a terrible tire choice. <laughs> and I also kind of got a 40 second penalty because I decided braking at the DRS sign for the pit, pit stop will be sufficient. Spoiler, it wasn't. I tried the updated IR18 tires. Very nice. IndyCar is very nice now. But I don't really see myself doing it too much. It's probably more popular in the American time slots compared to the European. I saw it it got quite some splits on the on the later races. But that's usually not around my stream time, so... 
Yeah. Feel bad, smile. I'm pretty sure that Lucas is just waiting for me all the time. Dark Knight, thank you very much for the follow. No, I, I really have to say I like how this drives. Good job, iRacing. I really was expecting something that I won't like because engine layout thingy. Oh no 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 no. Roberta, thanks for the follow. Or B Roberta. It's such a high oh I don't know. I just set it to something. Let's wait for the setup shops. I have no clue about setups. Refuel two liters. Oh no. I drive uh, wing two. Should maybe short shift a little bit. Doesn't doesn't save a lot of fuel, but a little bit here on iRacing. But we might lose our P2. Damn it! Uh, the wheel is a try exclamation mark GSI. It's the Gomez Sim Industries Formula Pro Elite. I think it saves a little bit, but I'm not sure. I think Linus mentioned it saves a little bit of fuel. It's just not really significant. It's an awesome wheel, huh? I made the electronics for it, that's why I have a very early prototype. This is not the production version I'm using. It's an early prototype version, but I will have both the uh, FPE and the GXL production run here. And we'll also assemble both wheels on stream, so... If you're interested in that... Then uh, press the follow button. Engine mapping? No, not really. I mean, it's a thing, but and it's not worth it. I think... I mean, the most effective way to save fuel on iRacing is just lift and coast. Like this. You don't even lose a lot of time because of that. Oh my god, this dashboard is like RGB here. Look at this. You sure it does nothing? Okay. Oops. No! 2x. I should probably just park it. It's over. Oh, the Lambo is coming. The Lambo is coming. And I need to save fuel. Damn it. Well, it's 7 seconds to P4, so... If I don't screw it up completely, we should at least get a podium out of this. At least I can save some fuel now behind the Lambo, I guess. If Anton doesn't disappear... ...within two corners. Are those in real time pressure? I think so. We definitely started with something around 1.4 or so, so...
Nice emote there, Baba. If you have two W's, can you say quadruple U? Or instead of VW, could you say triple U? The new triple U Golf. Now with less cheating on the engine. Uh, wing is two. One click more rake. And wing to two. A lot of top speed. Let's see what we get with draft here. Half a second behind the Lambo. I mean the Lambo is super flat, but we should still get decent draft. Maybe we can get into the limiter on the fifth gear. Yeah, 267. Just before the braking zone, I can we, we we touched the limiter at 267. I don't know what that tire thing means. <laughs> no clue. Maybe it's like in real life there are different tire compounds or something. Hey! Hey, Cyril! Thanks for the follow. also nothing in the settings that sound like anything that you can maybe adjust or so i don't know i really don't know and jovia jade banister thanks for the follows guys i appreciate it hey 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 and cyril with the prime sub hey welcome Enjoy the emotes, buddy, and the ad-free viewing experience. Thanks a lot. Welcome, welcome. How's the BMW? I like it. That's all I can say. Feels nice. Okay, two more laps. And I think then I need some... Oh, God. Some food. Because, you know, food is good. And I only had breakfast today, and it's 9 p.m., so, yeah. Wow. 3.33 fuel, this lab. Hey. I like that display. Robert, thanks for the follow. But 3.33 what? Cap says I used 4.5 fuel. Interesting. That's short shift. Kilograms, hmm. And caps is in liters or something probably, huh? Take. Man, triple screens are so useful in, in close battles. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 oh, no. Ooh. We need to save some fuel in corners where he cannot really overtake. Overtake. Like here. But we might run out of fuel nevertheless. Why did I put in so little fuel? Meng.
The leader is spitting now. <laughs> Imagine under fueling the car. Oh shit, I still have. Fuel issues. What? Is he running out of fuel? <laughs> uh, I, I think we can now save some fuel. Um, I'm a, Im imagine under fueling the car. <laughs> hey, Alfie. <laughs> well, I'm a little short on fuel as well, but I can now start lifting. Everyone running dry here. <laughs> So this is how you save fuel on iRacing, you just, before you approach the corner, you lift and then you brake. This is the most effective way to save fuel on iRacing. More than short shifting, which apparently doesn't save fuel at all. And especially more than uh, changing the engine map, so yeah. But we should be good. We should be good now. I can easily save. We have six seconds to P2 now. Yeah, of course it is an official race. So I'm, I racing just made VRS 10 minutes shorter for me because I need to eat, you know. But these little displays here on top of the rig are really useful, I have to say. They show the flags, they can show the gears for example, I disabled that because I thought that was a little bit annoying. Uh, they show when there's a car next to you. Ah, oh, I think we will be fine. I think we are going to be fine. See? And when does it start to stutter? <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> uh, I won. Perfect. <laughs> well, that's uh, it. No more fuel. Uh, nice. Really nice car, I have to say. I like it. I think iRacing did a good job with it. I think BMW did not a very good job with designing the front, but that's not iRacing's fault. Um, but we'll get used to it, probably. And... Wow. Who's that? Wow, Daniel. Wow. Intentional wrecking. Mim! Uh, let's check. Let's check one lap from the, from the outside and then I'm going... Oh, that is uh, here. Oh, that car has seen better days. Silver rims. But oh, that's probably the, pa the, the paint maker, right? But I have to say, it definitely looks better than the default one. So it's still, it's still... It will take some time to get used to this. This is all I'm saying. Oops so loud. Everything looks better than the flat white, yeah. But look at this. Ferrari, BMW, Lambo, uh, AMG, Audi. <coughs> What will be the next GT3? That's a very good question. I have no clue. I guess nobody expected that iRacing honestly will give us new GT3s at all. But... Yeah, overall I have to say I like this. If you're watching on YouTube, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Maybe subscribe. Not maybe. Make sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up and see you on the next video.